Black Thunder. Dun, dun, dun. Trying to chop the mountains. All right, bright and early, sun's coming up. Josh is taking uh, Trevor and I out to Chocolate Mountain, the McCarthy's. We've seen a lot of video, super excited. Looks awesome. Uh, you know, it's gonna be a good time riding Hondas, seeing Johnny Campbell, all the boys. You know, just looking for a good time. I wonder if they'll let us in since I blew up the Honda. Chocolate Thunder. Thunder Mountain. What's up guys? Welcome to This Week in MXA presented by O'Neill Racing. Today we are riding one of the coolest tracks in Southern California, private tracks. It's Chocolate Mountain Ranch. This place is epic. We're right on the border of Southern California and Mexico and I think we're gonna have to show our passport to be able to ride the bottom half like the, the second half of the track. Yeah, we're gonna have to ride, show our passports to get down there but long story short, this track is insane. They've shot a lot of commercials here, a lot of big video projects projects here and today we're riding 2023 Honda CRF 450RX, CRF 250RX and even the 450X. So we're riding the cross country and the off-road models from Honda. Beautiful day to ride brand new bikes, beautiful track. Josh, what are your first thoughts? Ah, man, this place, beautiful. Again, I reiterate that, this place is amazing. Look at it, the dirt looks awesome. The jumps are scary. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna have a good time, single track, I mean, I'm overwhelmed, this is great. That's gonna be a lot a good, of fun. It's gonna be a good day. Johnny Campbell is celebrating 30 years in a partnership with Honda and he's here today. So it's kind of a 30th anniversary Johnny Campbell day mixed in with new 23 Hondas. It's gonna be a good time. Let's uh, let's go have some fun. Let's ride. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Okay. All right, so those are the famous two doubles here at Chocolate Mountain Ranch. Massive jumps. I've been here once before and I hit them on a 250F. They're not a part of the track today and Honda told us not to jump them, but I'm gonna do my best by the end of this video to hit those jumps today on one of these Hondas. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to not hit them. <laughs> um, about the same. I would say that it's about the same. It just looks gnarlier from here. I bet when you get down there, it's not that. Okay, let's walk down there. What do you think, are you just wide open? Yeah, on a 250 it was wide open. Oh, well then the 450 is wide open for me for sure. Because my corner speed is nothing like yours. <laughs> now, because you have a long run, you rail this corner, you wrap, and then you jump down, you run. And then when you're in the air on the first one, you look to the landing of the second one. That's the good thing about this. As you come off this hill, you can see the landing spot. Yeah. So like the best thing for Supercross or for any jump that you've never hit before, or even if you have hit it before, to like try to spot the landing as you come out of the corner or as you're off the jump before it. And then that kind of just calibrates your mind to know how much throttle you need. Yeah, it's definitely a little more settling, I guess. Makes you feel better, yeah, when you can see the landing. Totally. How about? If you can't see the landing, it's very scary. Yeah. What about that little first one? Yeah, Josh, you got that? Uh, 12 foot wide to uh, 12 foot wide landing? Turning into a wall. It looks a little scary. Yeah, there it is. In all its glory. Clayton Roberts, that guy sucks. <laughs> Race field this morning? Right here. Good enough, for Jets, good enough for Jetson, yeah. good enough for me. Absolutely. So today is an exciting day. Not only do we get to ride an epic track, but we get to ride an updated 2023 CRF 450RX. This bike got the same updates that the CRF 450R got, the motocross specific bike. So it's got a little bit of adjustments to the frame rigidity to make it actually a little bit stiffer, but hopefully make the bike a little more balanced. It also has updates to the intake and the ECU mapping like the motocross version has. This is the cross country bike though, so it has the 18 inch rear wheel to add a little more cushion going over the bumps. It's got softer suspension settings. It's got a bigger fuel tank and it has some different ECU mapping to make it a little more mellow, a little better for longer riding and racing. And of course has the kickstand. So we're excited to come and ride this bike here today. Josh Fout is gonna be riding it. Trevor Nelson's gonna be riding it. I'm gonna be having some fun here and uh, can't go wrong with a beautiful track, Chocolate Mountain Ranch, it's gonna be good.
the fun part where your nerves get it, get going and you want to hit the big doubles. Whew, they're not that hard. I've done it before on a 250. Now we're riding a Honda 450, so. But it's been two years since I've been here, the one and only time I came. Whew. Wild at heart, right? Have you guys read that book? Makes me want to do some jumps. <laughs> Dirt bikes. I was nervous that wasn't too bad it's a lot easier on a 450 and these bikes are so quiet you're just brrr up and super nice fourth year mid throttle what do you think halfway oh, good times Impressive. Well, we started out on the 450R, the motocross bike. Stiffer suspension, lighter weight without the big tank. I figured I'd be a little safer to start these jumps out. Woo, got the nerves out of the way. Jumped it on the RX. Bigger tank, softer suspension, 18 inch rear wheel, but uh, definitely softer on the lips of these jumps. They're pretty peaked, but. In the, I mean, in the air, it's definitely a little heavier with the heavier tank, more fuel in this thing, but jumps them just fine. I, I was a little worried and did it just fine. So good times. Thanks Honda for having us. Hopefully they don't get mad that we're doing the jumps, but at least we did them. And now I can sleep a lot better tonight. Johnny Campbell, today is a special day because not only are we getting to ride really cool motorcycles at a really cool facility, but we're also celebrating and uh, witnessing Honda celebrate you for your 30th anniversary working together with Honda. And so Johnny Campbell, 11 time Baja 1000 champion and friend of mine, I've had the pleasure of racing with JCR bikes uh, at the 24 hour yeah. where me and Preston got the win. That yep. was pretty cool. Yep. And then racing the NGPC race at Glen Helen last year yeah. uh, or earlier this year, that was a lot of fun too. But something I didn't know, I didn't know that Johnny bleeds red, <laughs> but I didn't know that you have been riding Hondas literally your entire life. Yeah. So, I mean, wh wh what age did you start riding at? I started riding at the age of nine. Uh, my dad brought home uh, XR75, 1978. And, uh, you know, from that point on, I was just like Honda hooked. And, you know, we had a Honda shop in town in San Clemente. And so it was just easy for me to, you know, think Honda. And, and uh, kind of my idol or mentor at that time riding was a guy named Craig Adams. And he raced Hondas in Baja. And, SRA GPs and That's he was cool. like the champion there and so I don't know I, I just really always had a, a, a calling or a passion for the Honda bike and, and brand and so I just had really great opportunities along the way with, yeah. with Honda and uh, fell in love with uh, not just not just the bikes or the brand but the people that were within Honda totally. that really they were all enthusiasts yeah. you know th through the motorcycle division they, they were families that raced or they went to the desert or went to the track like frequently yeah and so I just fit right into that mold because my passion was I, I just love to ride dirt bikes yeah yeah that's awesome so can you explain to everybody like what your role is now and I guess what the most rewarding part of your current job is <laughs> yeah so I wear a few different hats you know within the Honda system and uh, you know one is uh, I'm the owner manager operator of JCR Honda so yep. that's a, a satellite factory back satellite off-road racing team for American Honda Honda funded and, and back and then the second part is that you know I, I help uh, coordinate or help do some advising on the other Honda off-road uh, entities like cool. SLR and Phoenix yeah um, so when I can lend my knowledge and experience to their bike setup or their race strategy or, you know, race tact. 
um, you know, talking about riders or organizations. You know, I've done quite a bit of things in the industry the last yeah. 30 years and seen a lot of things. So if I can make Honda's off-road presence better, yeah. then that's what I try to do. And then thirdly, um, you know, I have a hand in uh, the development of the Honda off-road machines, yeah. you know. I don't necessarily do, do the motocross side, um, you know, but I work on the bikes that are going to be ridden off-road, GNCC or NGPC or trail ridden. Um, cool. So that that's RX, uh, X and L models. So that's, uh, I know where my, uh, my passion is and I, I know where I, my ministry is. And so it's super fun to be uh, involved that way. And, you know, enjoy the dirt bikes and enjoy people. Awesome. All right, well, thanks for having us out here. Okay, good times. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Today was a good day. Road 450RX, 250RX, 450X, 450R, 250R. It was, it was a good day. This property's beautiful. Got to watch Josh send some big jumps. Off-road loop was on point. Well, good day. Good day. Orange helmets, red bikes, a little bit of green grass, some really fun jumps. It was a good day. Some Beautiful. Good, good trails. A disclaimer, Chocolate Mountain wasn't so chocolate today because it hasn't rained here in a long time. So it was really like white chocolate, would you say? It was like white chocolate. You know, the dirt's deceiving. <laughs> it looks beautiful. Still dusty. Yeah, still dusty. But uh, last time I was here, it was milk chocolate. Nice little brown flavor. But long story short, awesome facility. They've sh done a lot of photo shoots here. They did the Honda 250 commercial here for the last two years in a row. And uh, we've had a lot of fun riding here. So I rode the RX. We compared it with our R models, the motocross bikes. These bikes have a lot softer suspension. And so if you're a rider who isn't planning on spending uh, a couple hundred or a couple thousand dollars on getting your suspension revalved and resprung for you, you should definitely take a look at which model you want. If you're a guy who rides a lot of off-road, these RX bikes are made for you. Um, but if you're a guy who races motocross, obviously you're gonna want the R model, the standard motocross bike, but uh, overall good times. Good Josh, times. And, Josh and Josh. Thank you, Honda. Thank you, Honda.